Hello and welcome! In this video, we will discover the 25 rules of money. There are some basic rules concerning the proper use of finance which encompass both the do's and don'ts associated with making and managing money. Although the financial situation and objective differ for every individual, these basic principles function as a one-size-fits-all solution. This rule of thumb in terms of finance demands full obedience and compliance in order to reap its complete benefits over time. If you obey and remain compliant with the best practices on how to earn, spend, and save money, then you will position your finances for growth. Your adherence to top money management principles and precepts provides you with comprehensive and priceless financial security. In this game, there are two options. Either you follow the best practices and win big, or ignore them and lose. The only sure way to emerge victorious is by sticking to the rules. Here are some rules of money that could place you on track to having a financial life with little or no worries. Just before, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to download your free book on financial freedom by clicking on the link in the description below. 1. Save Saving is one of the most important rules of money because it is a practice that protects you from unforeseen financial crises. Saving allows you to build up cash in a crisis account that serves as your source of funds during an emergency. Although saving is extremely crucial, it is normal for you to find it difficult getting around to it. This is because saving is usually the last item on your budgeting list when it should be the first. You have to cultivate a saving spirit by treating it as a priority. Experts recommend putting away about 20% of your income into a retirement and savings account. This way, you do not spend the money that you should be investing. Although it may be difficult for you to start with this saving recommendation, it is important that you start from somewhere. Even if it is by having 15, 10, 5, or even 3% of your income auto-invested for you in the respective accounts. Over time, you will get used to this deduction and adjust your expenses and spending to fit the new financial situation. 2. Live below your means you must have heard this phrase a thousand and one times, but what exactly does it mean? With so much misconception out there with this term, it is important that we get some clarity before proceeding. If what you spend each month is less than or at least equal to the amount of money you earn each month from your job or any other source, then you are living below your means. Living below your means does not mean that you cannot spend money on the things you need to live comfortably. Instead, it means having a conscious financial spending habit that allows you to live a life you can afford while staying out of debt. This rule gives you an opportunity to save more money, pay your bills on time, and still reach your financial goals. The best way to obey this rule is with a budget which allows you to spend wisely. In the process of making a budget, you are able to calculate your finances and determine if what you spend each month runs into the negative or not. This way, you can cut down on unnecessary expenses, spend wisely, and be on track to financial security. 3. Avoid bad debts The type of debts you take can either help you achieve your goals or hinder you from it. Bad debt is a debt with a high or variable interest rate for an asset that will depreciate or lose its value over time. Bad debts are also regular debts that have gone out of hand. For instance, if you have a high interest credit card and pay off your balance when due, then you're safe. But a high interest credit card that builds up without being paid instantly becomes a bad debt and sets you on course for serious trouble. Additionally, taking a high interest loan to buy an asset that will depreciate or lose its value means that you'll be paying a huge amount on something that'll decrease your net worth. You need to avoid such a scenario, especially for an item that'll lose its value over time. A simple way to do this is either pay with cash, delay the purchase, or look for a cheaper alternative. This way, you spend less money on interest and avoid incurring a bad debt, making it much easier for you to accomplish other key goals, like saving and living below your means. 4. Don't make impulse purchases An impulse purchase simply refers to a sudden desire you have to buy an item that was never planned or budgeted for. Impulse purchases qualify as a guilty pleasure and, admit it or not, you indulge in it all too often than you should. Impulse practices are a bad habit. This practice basically limits the progress you're making towards attaining financial stability. If care is not taken, you end up derailing and losing the momentum you've built. 
If you want it, it doesn't mean that you need it. Half the time, you barely or do not even use most of the items you get on an impulse purchase. They end up in a closet or shelf somewhere at home. It's important to note that this rule does not mean you cannot buy the things you love, but instead requires you to exercise self-discipline and restrain yourself. 5. Invest in what you know Investments are channels through which you infuse a certain level of your money, time, and effort for profits or material results. While you may have good intentions by investing, sometimes you may be doing it all wrong. That's why this rule is so important. In the same way that you need to follow your passion to enjoy what you do, the case also applies to investments. You need to put your money into industries you are familiar with. This makes it easier for you to analyze their overall growth and assess factors from personal observations that could determine if they're going to make a profit or not. Also, if you want to start a business, it should be in a sector that you have experience or knowledge about. For instance, if you have experience working as an e-commerce marketer, then you should consider starting your own agency. Investing your money, time, and effort in a business or enterprise you have frequent interaction with, both directly or indirectly, is not a guarantee of instant success, but instead gives you a major head start. 6. Invest wisely It is one thing for you to invest and another to invest wisely. While investing in an industry you are familiar with gives you a head start, it does not guarantee outright success. A wise investment would be for you to put aside a certain percentage of your savings, no matter how little, into an interest-earning account, high-yield savings account, or even stocks. To maximize your chances of success, you have to do the needful by taking them to study investment options that have the highest interest rate returns and minimal risk for your potential investment. If you want to invest your savings to get decent returns, you can either seek professional help or exercise extreme caution when doing it yourself. Either way, investments are always associated with risk and you must be willing to take them. 7. Diversify This is yet another essential rule of money because the financial market is very unpredictable. There's no telling what could happen next. With this in mind, you cannot afford to have all your eggs in a single basket and this is where diversification comes in. Diversification in finance simply means spreading your finance in a manner that decreases your exposure to risk. The idea behind diversification is that different investments within a single portfolio will yield higher returns and are less risky than an individual investment in the portfolio. Diversifying your investments puts you in a position to weather the storm or bounce back from a market crisis. 8. Get a job you love your job is one of your primary sources of income, which makes it play a central role and makes it very crucial for you to choose a career path or profession that you have a passion for. When you land your dream job, it makes you feel happy and excited going to work every day. It will not necessarily be about how much money you make, but instead on how you can become better at what you do. Honing your skills and expertise in your respective field will expose you to greater opportunities that could take your profession to the next level. This is a triple win for you as you grow professionally, achieve your dreams, and also earn a living. 9. Institute a waiting period before making a huge purchase. A majority of individuals make a huge purchase on stuff they do not need just because the opportunity presents itself. But with spending money, you have to be rational and not impulsive. These huge purchases are as a result of temptation and not careful planning. This is why instituting a 24-hour or even a one-week waiting period is important when the thought of buying something comes up. The waiting period gives you enough time to determine whether that purchase is worthwhile and fits into your budget. This rule can help you avoid making an impulse purchase, especially if you've struggled with it in the past. By doing so, you prevent yourself from making costly financial mistakes that may thwart all your efforts. Force yourself to wait before making a huge purchase especially on non-essentials. 10. Automate your finances One of the keys to financial success is to create systems and processes that will limit unfavorable outcomes and promote desirable results in the long run. That is why several financial advisors and experts recommend automating your finances. By doing so, you're able to accomplish your specific financial goals because you have an effective system that prevents you from deviating from your financial plan. 
The steps to automating your finances require you to determine key spending areas before proceeding to set up the appropriate accounts that pay you first with regards to your emergency fund and retirement savings, and thereafter automatic contributions for other monetary obligations. 11. Pay in cash. This rule is pretty strict yet straightforward and effective because it contributes to your ability to budget, save, and invest. Sticking to this rule can be tough given the fact that you are so used to making purchases with your credit cards. However, making payments with your cash or debit card is better because you are fully aware that you need to make payments using money that is yours. This instantly prevents you from spending more than you ever planned to and discourages over shopping. Even if you don't appreciate moving about with cash or need to make an expensive purchase, you can use a debit card instead of money that you do not have. This rule is not necessarily against you using a credit card, but highlights your ability to pay the balance in full at the end of each month. Otherwise, you'll end up spending more paying off a bigger debt. 12. Don't procrastinate. This is one of the most essential rules, especially in regards to your financial objectives. Whether it involves creating a budget, saving money, paying off debts, or planning for retirement, it is a smart idea for you to get to work immediately rather than delay. A simple yet effective trick is for you to be prompt in confronting your financial issues before it spirals out of control. When it involves money, time is a valuable commodity you can't afford to lose. The only way for you to get ahead, build momentum, and sustain it is to remain consistent and avoid putting things off. 13. Set Financial Goals Financial goals are important to give you a clear focus and direction on the steps you need to take towards financial security. Your financial goals must also be realistic, too, only then will you be motivated to work towards accomplishing them. A simple tactic would be for you to segment your goals into simpler phases and then proceed to tackle them individually. When setting your financial goals, ensure that they are in line with specific facts and current events. Specific financial goals are necessary to provide you with precision to all the processes involved in achieving financial success. 14. Review your progress regularly. A review provides you with an opportunity to carefully examine and assess how well your financial strategy is working. During this review, your concern is to determine the level of progress you are making in areas that require improvements. In this moment of reflection, you should look for effective solutions to any underlying issue that may be a limiting factor in your endeavors. A comprehensive review of your finances over a certain time frame will ensure that you remain on the right track and improve any area that you may be lacking in. This simple yet essential task has the capacity to greatly transform your financial habits. 15. Exercise Self-Discipline Wealth is the result of a variety of elements added together which builds up over a lifetime. This means that your day-to-day -day habits can either make or break any system that you have in place. Self-discipline becomes so important because it acts as a fuel to your willpower. This drives and motivates you to do the needful in terms of effective money management. Other than just receiving an income, you need to save, invest, and reinvest while at the same time grow all the necessary financial habits that will augment all your current efforts. 16. Treat your money like a business. You cannot effectively manage a business without a plan. On that note, why should managing your money be any different? Previously, we've emphasized the need to have an effective money management strategy in place. But this particular rule requires you to create a money management plan based on proven business principles that will lead to financial security and stability. This money management plan should take into account your unique financial situation plus skills, interests, and resources. You need to handle your money like it's a business because that's exactly what it is. 17. Use it wisely. You should not be a servant to money. Instead, it should serve you. This is because money as a tool comes with an obligation, which is to use it wisely. The wise use of money is not an easy task. It's quite tedious and requires a lot of effort. Maintaining a healthy, stable finance can be likened to staying physically fit. Achieving your dream body does not mean that you put a halt to your routines or endeavors. It's a continuous undertaking that's for the long term. One of the most important criteria for financial stability is not just to make money, but also spend it wisely. 
Careless spending of money is bound to limit your financial goals over time. 18. Don't try to impress people. A lot of individuals spend too much money trying to maintain an image they cannot afford. From buying luxurious cars, brand clothing, luxury perfumes, expensive jewelry, and going on fancy trips. Much of what you buy is not because you need it, but to impress other people. However, keeping up with the Joneses is an expensive, unnecessary, and tiring pursuit. You need to live a life that you can afford. You should exercise care with your money. It's not a guarantee that you will always have it. In the end, what matters is not what people think, but how well you are secured financially against unforeseen circumstances. 19. Befriend Money Makers It's crucial that you become friends with money makers you trust to learn their tactics and methods of making money. This is a simple logic. The people you surround yourself with can impact your mindset towards money. If you surround yourself with other people who know how to make money, then you are going to make money. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with people that do not know how to make money, then you are not going to make money. Becoming pals with money makers entails getting to know them better, studying their behavior, noting financial principles, spending habits, and with time, how they make their big bucks. People who know how to make money take pride in their prowess, and if you're sharp enough, you will gain immensely. 20. Develop Strategic Partnerships this is a crucial rule because it helps you gain exposure and also an alternative source of income. Other than your investments, you need to also engage yourself in a side hustle that can help to augment your current efforts. Your collaboration with either a network, brand, or influential individual within your industry is an intentional move on your part to take advantage of their own strategies. 21. Love Money For you to attract money, you need to love it. If you hate money, you'll never get money, because money doesn't like haters. So keep that in mind by loving money and working hard for it. 22. Seduce Money Money does not like desperate or reckless people. As a matter of fact, it's the opposite. This means you need to seduce money and not the other way around. Accomplishing this requires you to learn the money seduction game. It's a tactic whereby you put all the appropriate financial systems and processes in place after which it becomes an endless cycle that starts attracting money from all corners. To be seductive, you have to know what you are doing and be extremely good at it. 23. Be prompt. Timing is crucial with money. After all, time is money. It's either you're prompt and make it big, or delay and lose it all. 24. Be strong. You must be ready for challenges on the way. No one ever said it was going to be smooth. You will face obstacles constantly along the way, all of which you must overcome to achieve whatsoever your end goal is with money. 25. Remain Vigilant There is a popular saying that an opportunity comes but once, but the truth is, it actually does not. Opportunities come knocking all the time. All that it requires is for you to be vigilant, recognize, and seize it. The moment presents itself. And so is the case with money. Conclusion we have presented you with 25 specific rules of money. Some of them are broad and comprehensive, while others are brief and straightforward. For you to excel, then you must obey a significant portion of the listed rules. After all, obedience, they say, is better than sacrifice. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. You're also free to receive the new book, 5 Steps to Reach Financial Freedom, by clicking on the link in the description below the video.